So why don't you tell me a little about um, your living situation? Um, I live with my mom and dad and sister and nephew. And do y'all, and who owns the house? My dad. And what type of um, house is it? We live in a single family home in a neighborhood in the suburbs of Atlanta. And approximately when did you guys move into this house? I think it was 2015. It's probably a little sooner or earlier than that. Yeah, I feel like we've been here like seven years. It have been opening it. Okay, I think maybe it was 2013. And have you always lived in um, Lawrenceville? Yes. And how did your family end up in Lawrenceville? My parents came from Michigan. My dad landed a job in Atlanta. And they started a family here. Right now, I live in a, a townhouse. Could you tell me a little bit more about the home that you live in? Um, Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, we live on a little less than an acre. We um, It's a five-bedroom home. And where did you live before? Um... We lived about six miles from here. Yeah. It was um, similar situation. Similar, very similar, actually. Have you invested in solar energy, either on the rooftop of your home, property, as part of your business, or part of a program through your utility? No. Uh, tell me why. You don't have rooftop solar. It was never presented to us. It was never really an option. We just kind of went with the energy that was provided. Would you, if it was available, want solar energy, uh, solar panels? Yeah. And why would you want it? Because... It, it's more environmentally friendly, and also I think after the initial cost, it's more economically friendly. So it's just the bigger upfront cost that prevents you from I think exploring so. that? Do you have any other opinions on rooftop solar energy for your home? When you get your own home, would is that one of the things that you would like be it's, on your top priority it's, or it's something that I would really want I don't know if it would be economically feasible but if it was it would definitely be a top priority cool well just in general I'd like to talk about rooftop solar adoption and I'm going to provide you with a map of the United States and then I'd like for you to just uh, shade or fill out areas of the United States that you think use the most um, rooftop solar energy and and why Okay. while you're doing it. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm shading in California, and I think that California is one of the number one states with solar energy because they have a lot of sunshine and they also um they're a progressive state uh i also think texas so maybe it's not as progressive as california but it's a large state and has a lot of sunshine um i think that probably New Mexico and Arizona also are one of the big ones. A lot of sunshine. I think that Nevada 
probably two. Um, I think that Georgia is probably one. Maybe the Carolinas. Maybe not so progressive, but sunshine, I don't know. Florida, definitely. Sunshine. Um, some of the... Some of the northeastern states, um, I might even go with just shading in, like, this whole New York, um, Massachusetts, I don't know if I'd say PA. Um, I think we might go with Colorado, Progressive, um, Hawaii, lots of sunshine. I I kind of want to just like circle this northeastern area. Yeah, that's my guess. So you said for most of them that they have a lot of sunshine or that they're progressive. What do you? What would you say about the states that you didn't shade in? Um, just in general. Well, Any think, reason why you didn't? I think that progressiveness has a lot to do with it. It's, I think that the attitudes that people have toward the environment and toward change in general is a driving factor. Um, I think that I didn't shade in a bunch of places because maybe, um, well, they're not so progressive um, and not so willing to change, maybe. And then some of the other ones, maybe there's just not enough sunshine to make it practical. Yeah, yeah, like when I did, I was like, I want to fill in Oregon and Washington, but right. I don't know if they get enough sunshine. Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So rainy. All right, and so now um, I'm going to give you a map of Georgia, and you're basically just going to do the same thing, but for the state of Georgia, what areas do you think utilize uh, rooftop solar the most? Okay. So for this one, um, I'm going to... I'm going to choose the Savannah area and um, definitely the metro Atlanta area and also Athens. And for the same reasons that I chose um, the other ones, they're progressive areas. Um, I don't know, maybe Augusta. I, I think that's what I would choose. Cool. So, again, what I same thing I asked her. Um, do you, would you say that the attitude towards it do you think plays a bigger influence on it than its usefulness, or do you think like ranking for reasons why people use it or don't use it? What you think like plays the biggest role? I think attitude is probably the biggest thing that plays into it. Um, I, th I think it's like being educated and understanding that this is better for our environment, uh, will help drive the decision. Also, the domino effect of people, of seeing your neighbors get it and then yeah. other people deciding to do that as well. I think maybe it would be a little bit more practical in southern Georgia because there maybe is more sunshine, I'm not sure, but um, I think I think that the driving factor is attitude. And you think that people who don't want it, that's their attitude towards it? Do you think it's just, just education-based, or what do you think drives well, that reasoning well I can't speak for everybody but I'm, just what, yeah. I'm sure that education has something to do with it um, maybe the fact that people are set in their ways and they're it's the whole you know, don't fix what isn't broken mentality and maybe also an, a big economic factor yeah 
And I think those are probably the big ones. Yeah. What do you think is like the best way to educate people about it? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, I mean, you can start in schools, but a lot of homeowners are not in school anymore. Uh, advertising, going door to door, um, having companies reach out, doing your own research, caring about the environment. Well, pe for people who um, are like against it or like stuck in their ways, what, is, what do you think is like the best way to approach them that it, this might be a better choice for them or, or just to let them know that they have other options, I guess? Well, showing them facts um, that it is an efficient resource for energy. Um, I think numbers are always a good convincing way to change people's minds. Um, how to reach out to them, I'm not really sure. I mean, anybody with Georgia Power, just go to their doors and spend a few minutes and try to let them know that this might be a better alternative and probably cheaper in the long run. I think money is a good way to purchase. Yeah. Um, do you know anyone in Georgia that has solar on their roof? I don't. I have seen it on company buildings, but I haven't seen it much on on residential residential homes yeah me either why do you think you the people that you know don't have it well i think similar to why we don't have it is because we don't it hasn't been presented to us uh we don't even know how to go about getting it um so we don't know how accessible it is we don't know how expensive it is just not really knowing the steps to take to get it. Yeah. All right. Do you have any additional comments? No. All right.